I want to insert a reference, but unfortunately the reference I have simply doesn't give me the information that I want. Here I have a sentence talking about this liquid level sensor. It produces a nonlinear voltage related to the level of liquid that it is immersed in. Now, I know this is true from this document here, which was provided by the manufacturer of the sensor. If I scroll down, I have their specification, and if you were to plot this in Excel, for example, you would see that it is not aligned, it's nonlinear. And I want to back up that claim by referring to this manufacturer's data sheet. What I'm missing is that I don't have information on the year of publication, and I really don't have much information regarding the city it was published in either. So I'm going to need to add as much as I can. I'm going to insert a new citation, just as before, and it's a new source. Now it might be a report, but this one will make a lot more sense if I write it as miscellaneous, because I really don't have that much information on this. It is a corporate author, that at least I know, and the corporation is called Waveshare. And the title is Liquid Level Sensor Manual. Now luckily, uh, Waveshare has given me a title that I can use, but realistically not much else. Now if I wanted to, I might want to go to their website and I can find, uh, for example, where they, where they are, that sort of thing for the city, but unfortunately, uh, in many cases, you simply can't do that. What you need to do in those cases is your due diligence. This is the best I could do. This is the article that I got from them. So I'm going to write unknown for the city. I'm going to write unknown for the year because I don't know. Publisher, though, is Waveshare. And I'm going to say OK because unfortunately I just don't have as much information as I'd like. Now, due diligence, like I said, we probably should be going to their website, we probably should be looking at where they are, but sometimes realistically that is uh, extremely difficult to find information, potentially even impossible. So I wanted to show you that it is okay to put in unknown and unknown, uh, and we will absolutely move forward on that. And so I say okay, it inserts the citation like it should, and I want to update my bibliography uh, to see what that looks like. So I'm not, you'll notice it's formatted so it's across pages. I'm not going to do anything yet on that because I still haven't finished the document. I'm just going to click on Update Citations and we'll see that it shows up. Waveshare Liquid Level Sensor Manual, unknown, published by Waveshare, unknown. And that's perfectly acceptable when you can't find as much information. The purpose of following a citation format, for example IEEE, is so that a person reading your document can find as much of the information as they possibly can uh, to then go and do their own search to find that document. If you don't have that information, you don't have a choice, and you have to give them as much as you have. 